Hi peeps and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Uh, we are back on the Queen Fury with Rose. Um, and we're gonna go talk to whoever she wants to talk to. You know, once we uh, get down this ladder. And I try to figure out what level my microphone should be at. <laughs> With this, like, pop filter in front of it, I kind of just... I reach in, and I turn up the volume knob, and I don't even look at, like, where I moved it to. <laughs> Hashel. Oh, I guess that's who we want to talk to, so let's go. Let's go. Interrupt his re reverie. Are you thinking about something? Oh, Rose. Do you want to talk about your love? <laughs> I was just walking around and happened to be here. Can I ask you one thing? Sure. You. Why are you with us? I heard that in the beginning it was Darch Dragoon Spirit. It seems that's not all. I guess... Maybe this journey is just a little break for me. Break, hmm. Well, everybody has different objectives on the journey. But you, you look like you're rushing yourself to death with your life being run by something. It's none of your business. Damn, girl. Defensive much? I guess I was involved too much. Cannot make judgments about other people. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey. Ta! Claire, your steps during the attack are slow. Take more precise, faster steps. Yes, father. You idiot. During the training, don't think of me as your father. Call me master. I'm just pointing out that his daughter is really pale. Eh. I'm sorry, master. Claire, you, my daughter, were the only heir to our ancestral Rouge School martial art. <laughs> yeah. Claire, you cannot take over the Rouge School with such pathetic skills. You implanted a murderous intention in your fist, didn't you? Oh, Lada, what's wrong? Lada, what's wrong? Oh, Lada! Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, okay. So she got way out of his sight. Oh, that sucks. I shouted out of anger. I was just running away from the pain that we have to overcome together, as a master and as a father. It's been 20 years since I left the village pursuing Claire, but what I have found was only my immaturity. As time goes by, I forget the objectives of my journey. But Dart and the others gave me a new one. I think... What I'm going through now is a journey to support the passion of young Dart and his friends. Oops, oops, I've become too mushy. Well, maybe I'll go tease Kongol. I hope he is not knocked out with seasickness. Oh, that's so mean. Okay, let's go. Let's go get Kongol. See, the thing, the best thing about going around with Shanna, because she's like the first one you, you get here, 
Because now you know where everybody is. I don't know, with how much this is swaying, I think I would probably get seasickness. Where's Shanna? There you are, Kongle. What are you doing alone? Kongle, always alone. You are not now. Friends, I still don't know. Kongle is here to see if you become leader instead of Emperor Dole. Dole, it was your objective for the journey, wasn't it? Hmm. Then why don't you talk to Albert? He might know something about Dole's story from the past. King of Human. He's not the king of all humans, Kongle, but, you know, it's chill. Also, will you be able to fit below deck? You'd have to be rude, but you're literally twice the size of all these people. Hi, Shanna. Where is Albert? I think he's in the cabin. Oh, Kongle, just talk for a minute. Human King Albert. How you see him? Congo wants talk. What is friends? Dart said Congo friend. Congo don't know what is friend. My uncle Dole was your friend, wasn't he? No, I fight for Emperor Dole to make a world where all the species equal. Maybe we can put it this way. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together but not led by somebody who share happiness and pain. That is friends? Yes, that is us now. Although we have different objectives, we are walking side by side. Kongle, you are already walking on the same road as us. I, that's a little metaphor heavy for me, but go off. Boring! Anybody want to hang out with me? It's thanks to those girls I can continue to walk on this road. Now I'm going to socialize with my friends too. <laughs> okay, Albert. Look at that little cape. Look at it. And isn't is she back here? I don't remember which room she's in. Yeah. You're having fun as always. <laughs> I gotcha, big success. Bouncy. It's an awful welcome. Hey Al. You're a bit too squarish. You gotta become cool. Like Dart. Are you mad now? No. But I now have a question. Wow. The exciting question time? Maru, when you joined us, you said there's still something I can help with. Is that true? Um, let me see. I don't know why, but I really feel that way. It's true. But I don't know what it is. Okay, girl. You are not just kidding, it seems. Our journey is a dangerous one. We will not be able to succeed if we have a lackadaisical attitude towards it. Towards it. Therefore, I wanted to make sure one more time. I don't want to see anybody else dying. Now, please excuse me. Lame. Whatever, the king, king became too serious. Now is my big chance to hang out with Dart. 
All right, girl, let's go. Let's go hang out with Dirt. You know, at least Rose didn't want to hang out with Dirt. I love her cute little outfit, though. God, okay. People shit on her outfit because it's, like, sexist or whatever, which I understand. But also, it's cute. A dart spotted. Thinking about something? I know. <laughs> Who do you think it is? Um, is that you, Shanna? Of course, it's Maru. No way, it's Rose. Albert, don't be silly. Hash, I'll quit that voice. And I doubt it, but Kongol. Um, I mean, obviously we know it's Maru, but what's the fun in saying that it's Maru? Uh, let's go with Albert, don't be silly. Yeah. Albert, don't be silly. Yes, I am. I am the king of Sergio Albert. I am the most important person in this country. <laughs> I don't think so. I knew it. It's you, Maru. Well, I have great news for someone who looks totally bored. Why don't you come with me on an adventure on the ship? I've already seen a lot. Hey, you were thinking about Shanna, weren't you? If she sees you walking with a pretty girl like me, she would get mad, wouldn't she? Shanna doesn't get mad about those things. What's with this adventure suddenly? She's bored as fuck. Well, there is something bothering me. Don't you think Rose is strange? She is strange, but I don't think she is as strange as you. Ooh! I'm not talking about that strange. I think she has something that she hasn't told us. Or she has been involved in something shady, or... Have you told us everything about you, Maru? I'm the exception. Don't talk bad about your friends. Everybody has something that they need to hide. Sorry. I don't mean to talk bad about Rose, but she's cold to me. So, somehow... Then you want a change of pace when the, with an adventure? That's my dart. You're totally cool. Come on, now departing on Maru's expedition. Maru's expedition, huh? Alright, um... I guess let's go see Rose. With Maru on her expedition. <laughs> Rose. Move on up. Bloop. Oh, so we're Maru again. Hi, Maru. Hi, Rose. Don't play a prank on her. She doesn't understand jokes. <laughs> I won't. Rose has a mysterious personality. She's always cold, but when it comes to a critical point, she leads us in a variety of ways. We are alive now because of Rose. I agree. Oh.
I just want to point out Shanna was out there. Anybody get Shanna, who was out there? On the deck? What on earth is this? I can't believe this. What are you doing? Go back to your stations and check on the damages. There's a heraldry. Heraldry. Jesus. It looks like a royal ship of Melsaso. Excuse me, guys. Is this like a phantom ship? Oh boy. Commodore, bad news. I got the engine room. Kayla, let them hurry to fix it. Aye, aye, sir. We cannot pursue Linus like this. And sometimes the ocean shows it capriciously, but I have never seen such a thing. Wait for a while, there is nothing we can do now. That was kind of like gibberish, but the, the ship is... Dart, I can't find Shanna anywhere. Eee! Shanna? You idiot. Wait for some people to follow you. Jesus. Where am I? Why did you come here? I don't know. When I woke up, I was in here. But those knights protected me. They are gone, though. At least you were safe and sound. Come on, come on! We're already here, so we might as well take some tour here. No way. I want to go, too. I don't know why, but I want to know about the ship. Oh, please. We'll go with them. Then it won't be a problem. Okay, but if anything happens, we gotta go back. E. Well, I don't want Maru. As much as I love her, she's not gonna really be helpful here. Um, Albert is as good as he's gonna get for a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring in Hashel because I want his speed that he has versus what Congo has. Um, and I want to check out Rose's new edition. So, yeah. All right. Welcome to the Phantom Ship. Um, I personally uh, spend a lot of time here. Because you get a decent amount of experience from everything, and um, you get to see exactly when you're getting into a fight. So, how I just ran into that, it's one of those situations. If I'm feeling really, really brave, um, I will bring Shanna on here, because a lot of the stuff on the Phantom Ship is darkness. So, um, she can kick some ass here, but the problem is she can also get her ass kicked here, so, you know. And I didn't check to see where Hashel was on his edition. Probably should have. And I also didn't change Rose's edition. Whoops. Okay. That's okay, because I just messed up hers. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Let me punch it. Oh, I didn't expect to literally get to punch it. So for the most part, that's about the caliber of enemies you get to see here. Let's check out what everyone's got going on with their fighting abilities. Um, let's go ahead and get Hard Blade in here. Uh, and summon four gods, god damn. Okay, give me another fight. So yeah, I will just try to clear this bitch out, honestly. Um... To the point that I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go because I do just wander around this so long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that creepy bitch back there. Death. Motherfucker. Oh, charging spirit. Kill him, kill him. Kill him. Oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Um, in my defense, I just woke up. Like, 40 minutes ago? No? I just want to throw out there, though. That, um... I just really want these additions to work. Hey. Hard blade. Hard blade. Not bad, not bad. I can dig it. Should I be having dart like guard more? Cause homeboy doesn't need any more addition work. Takes some getting used to. I don't remember how much experience we were getting. Um, from the enemies in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, but I feel like it was about equal to this. May evil come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. Well, shit. I love evil attempting to come to me. Okay. There are three numbers. Oh, arrange those numbers, baby. Three, seven, two. What? Damn, okay. I did not expect that to work. I, I'm not mad about that. I don't think I'm ever that lucky. It's locked and doesn't open. Fight me. No, Dart, however, will you survive this horrible attack? That last little, uh, little stab that she does for the die, um, that is the part that I always mess up the most on, so hopefully I break that curse on myself. 
pretty soon. Fuck. Quit counterattacking me. Bone throwing. Let me go. I have a bone to pick with him. You know what is terrible? The amount of damage that does. That's fucking awful. This is probably the one that has less damage, but it gets you a shit ton of SP. Probably. I thought that was going to counterattack me. Fuck. So I brought Rose along because um, she obviously recognizes this boat. So I was hoping she had some insight. She said something about it, so I'm gonna have to say that she knows. Noise. Heal yourself up, you dumb bitch. Wow. You didn't put enough killing intention in your fist. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I gotta look at the damage amount on that. Think about looking to see if there's something I can give Rose to. Oh, there was a ghost back there. To, um. Get her defense up or something, but I don't remember what's on her now. Did I trade that out to someone else? I think Hashel's got what I had on her. It might suit her better. Oh, he's stunned. Hella. Okay, Dart, back to guarding for you. Okay. I'm feeling more confident now. Except for the fact she's not killing shit with it. God. How annoying. Yeah, I would love to have Kongle in here, because, uh, Homeboy is gonna need some Dragoon levels and stuff, but he's just so slow that I feel like I'm waiting forever for him to get in the ring. And, um, no Maru, because she's got low defense, and she doesn't even have a Dragoon to back her up, and, uh, no Shanna. Because Homegirl is like three levels below everybody else. And I know that means that I should have her in here. I should have her in here. Oh well. Do you know what I'm really grateful for? This game doesn't make me go to a save point to trade out my my uh, party members. Yeesh. Does Final Fantasy make you do that? It's been so long since I've played like an old school Final Fantasy. Oh, damn girl. I say damn girl and then I do that to her. Whatever. Oh, and then you're gonna miss. Okay, okay. Oh, Rose.
Yes. Oh, he got Thunder God. <gasps> That's so exciting. As exciting as that is, we're going to wait until next time to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you back here in the next video. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Oh my god. Bye.